Hello everyone, Monica here with a new video. I hope you are doing well. Uh, for those of you that have been to my channel and are subscribed, thank you so much for coming back and for being here. And for those of you that maybe this is your first time or you've come back and haven't subscribed, I would love it if you would consider subscribing. So, I finally made it to the nearest coach tour that I have, which is about an hour and a half away drive. Well, a little bit over an hour. And, um, yeah, so I went today and I posted some pictures in the community and uh, yeah, it was a very interesting experience. I met the essay that I've been working with for the first time in person and um, my daughter came with me. Um, they were having um, parents day or family day at, uh, at her university. So yes, yeah, so we did a little bit of everything. So, um, I got a few items and um, that I kind of posted before what I was going to get. Um, so yeah, let's get right into it. So, this is what I got. And I did a couple of extra things while I was there. Um, one of the things that I did was that I took my... Um, what is this called? My Tabby Mirror Bracelet to the store because it had some um, scratches on it. And I know I knew that this bag was gonna, um, it's, it can easily scratch. Um, but I had a concern with the scratch that was in the back. It was like a big smudge, run smudge right here. And they were able to remove that for me. So I was very happy about that. And then in the front, I did have another kind of, um, indentation or um, scratch here that I knew was not gonna be able to be removed. So what I did instead was that I had the handbag customized and they added um, this star. I thought it went really cute with the whole um, mirror leather, like the, the mirror leather. And that's what it looks like. It's very sparkly. And I just, I just think it goes great with it. And they put it in a way that, you know, cause this bag is, it's kind of stiff here so when you when you fold it up you know it's not there's not much give right here so the ace was telling me they wanted to make sure that it wasn't too high up so that it wouldn't get caught in here and it's not it's remains in the front and they also make sure that it went over the stitching and it didn't like on top of the stitching so that it didn't cover the stitching uh i chose the position i didn't want the start to be kind of like straight per se so i, I did want it like angled a little bit and that is what it looks like. So yeah, I'm very happy with this. And I'm glad that they were able to shine it and buff it out for me. So I was um, really excited about that. Since I know I was going to be carrying this today, I took my, um, my Empire bag. And um, I changed this back here. I don't know if you all can see it. Uh, and I also inserted a picture. And... Um, I removed the little um, orange bag that I had been wearing on it. I added one of my bears instead, and I added one of my New York um, baseball caps, kind of trying to mimic when they came down the runway show, they had the New York baseball cap hanging from the purse. So that's kind of, it's got also that, that gold chain, that's a, that's a coach chain. So um, I got a lot of compliments when I was at the store carrying that bag. They had the black one on display, um, and some people were inquiring about the Merlot. It's not in the system. Um, it sold out like a couple of days ago again. <laughs> and I don't know if the blue was available or not. I really wasn't, but I know some people were at the store asking. And then some people kind of pulled me to the side and they're like, can we look at it? Can we look at it? So that was kind of neat to be able to talk to other people about it. And they were kind of asking me like what I thought about it. And, you know, if I feel like it's too heavy. And they kind of thought I was a good example because I'm like on the shore side. So people were, most, most of the ladies that were talking to me, they're just regular size or taller. But I'm um, like, no, no, I mean, I think if, if, I mean, I think it looks okay on me. I don't think it looks humongous. If it does, don't care. I love it. So, so yeah, so I got to chat some people about it and hopefully my comments and what we talked about will help them out with their decisions. Um, but this still remains a very popular bag, as you all know. Uh, okay, so this is what we got. 
got this in here. What do you all think it is? This is a Tabby 20. And the uh, pewter metallic color and the crinkle leather. Look at that. And look at this. Isn't that just stunning? And I'm, I'm gonna have to do a separate video on this bag later when I talk about it. I know we all know reviews and things like that about the Tabby 20. The only difference on this one obviously will be the leather, the kind of leather that it is, and of course the color, um, and the finishing of the leather, right? But I have another coach bag from years ago that has um, similarities. Let's just call it with the color of this bag. So I might do a video with those two side by side. Um, when I saw this on the website, actually I saw it first at the Demon Marcus website for pre-order. And that's when I contacted my SA. And of course he said, you know, we're gonna get it in a couple of weeks. Just, you know, let me grab one for you. And they came into the stores to be put up on Thursday. And uh, he was actually setting up the store Thursday morning at 7 a.m. So he's natural one for me. Um, but yeah, isn't it beautiful? And it just reminded me of one that I've had for years. There's one of my favorites. So I'm gonna try to put these two and two together later for another video. So I'm not really gonna um, get into it because you all know what the Tabby 20 looks like and what it has and what it does. The hardware is um, like the, the black metal. It's kind of like the, what is this? This has a name, what is this metal called? Um, I think it's like a ruthenium. Um, what is the black shiny metal? And the hand tag also, the little, the little chain has the same color. And I guess I can remove this for you guys a little bit so you can see the chain. Let's see if I can take this off without taking a million years. Kind of let's just peek at it, right? Take a little peek. Oops. Okay. So I'm just gonna I just kind of pulled it there a little bit. I'm not gonna get into like I said all the details right now, but it is um it's the same ruthenium chain, but I can tell you that the leather is not it's not the same um it's not the same crin crinkle shiny uh, metallic leather it's it's more like a gray it's more like a like a gray like a gray color and the ends the glazing on the end of the leather that goes through the chain is black and I think this is pretty amazing. I think the um, the combination of the two, let me just hand this back. I'm having a hard time with this. Take this off. Okay. I think the combination of the two really, because uh, if you see it that far away, it kind of looks like the leather going through it is about the same crinkle leather but it, it it isn't it is like a it is like a pewter color um but it's not the shiny um but because of the chain the way the color of the chain is is that like ruthenium um you know it just it just goes very well i'm excited about this bag this is definitely a holiday bag um i don't know that i'll be using this anytime soon i, I just feel like this is better for the holidays or when it gets a little bit cooler um so yeah this is this is just I consider this one of my pre-Christmas, pre-holiday gifts, um, and I love it. I just, when I saw it, I said, I have to have it. Um, they did have the wristlet, and then they have the 26 at the store. I inserted a picture of them, and they were, like, grouped up, so on the community post. So, um, go check it out over there. Okay. So, excited about everything that I got. But I'm super duper duper excited about this. This was something that I had not planned at all. I didn't even know. I had not seen it. I had not seen it on Neiman Marcus. Like I knew about this because I came across it in Neiman Marcus. But this other bag um, that I posted a couple of days ago on the community post, I did. I didn't even know that this bag existed or that it it, it was coming out. Um, I asked my essay and he told me that um, this bag was around a little bit over a year ago. Like this silhouette, this. 
um, this particular purse and then it went away but then it, it kind of came back in this um, in this finishing so let me stop rambling and show you came in this dust bag actually you know what I'm gonna show you something first I have this little thing here and um, this is gonna go with I'll show you what it is it's a little coach and the um, off white what is this called the um, chalk color with the um, brass beading a um, little chain I mean and I had this um, customized and it's got my um, it's like my nickname everybody calls me and I love skull so I had the little skull or the little skull put on there um, and I got this thinking of my um, my runway chain tabby um, I'm not gonna replace what it comes with it. I'm just gonna add to it, kind of like I said, another charm. Like, like it needs any more charms, right? But I just, I just saw it, and I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna put this on there. Um, I'm sure I can use it on something else, um, but for right now, my thought when I was at the store and I wanted to get one of these done was um, the white, the chalk, and brass runway chain tabby bag. Okay, so let's get back to this. You guys know what this is, I think. Yeah, you should know what this is. Because, yes, I got it. Look at this beautiful thing. Look at this beautiful thing. This is the Juliet um, in Sherling. And this is the Navy... I believe it's the navy nope it's the blue it's not called navy it's called blue multicolor so the reason why they call it blue is because it doesn't just have navy shirling but it has kind of like different shades of blue you have this gray blue right here um i don't know if you can all see it but there's parts like right here you see this this almost goes into um the same blue color that the empire is it's not it's not navy it's not it's not royal blue it's like a it almost goes into like a i don't want to say purple but can you all see that it's like a, it's a very very uh cool almost navy black and then you have even darker color right right here i mean this is this so this is considered a patchwork okay so and that's how they can have the different colors and then you have gray but it's like a blue gray right with lighter grades and this is even i mean i can't i just can't describe all these colors but it's just it's oh, it's so stunning it's so delicious it's so i can't talk about it i love okay it does come with the um with the little coach um hang tag but they also added this little, what do you want to call it, a charm? Or it's kind of, it kind of hangs from it, kind of like a little clochet. But it's got the, um, the C in silver. Um, this one comes with three straps. It comes with this um, metal shoulder strap, which is actually very light, but substantial. Like it's not like, when I say light, the, the chain doesn't feel heavy, but it's sturdy. Um, you got your zipper opening you got your silver zipper and then you have a leather pull tab try to open it all the way and i do feel like maybe the opening is not as as given but it doesn't really doesn't really bother me inside you have the additional straps so as I said a little while ago, it comes with a total of three straps. So you have your um, crossbody strap. And what color is this? I don't know that. Let me see. Guys, the straps, the leather straps, are actually in black. Oh, leather. Okay, what else? Mm, oh, this is the shoulder strap. And I think the chain strap and the shoulder strap are supposed to be sort of like the same length. Mm -hmm. 
Now, the chain is just a tiny bit bigger, longer, I should say. Let's see. It's just that much longer. Pretty much that right there. But I think on the website, they're kind of described as the same size. I think like seven and a quarter inches long for both of these. Um, I can see, I usually don't wear bags with the shoulder. Um, but this is, I mean, this can be dressed down, casual. And I can also see it being a little bit more um, elegant, more classy. Now, I don't want to use the word classy, but just more elegant, more like, you know, um, not so dressed down by using it with the um, with the shoulder strap. So, um, but you know, I like my stuff, like every day running around, um, I like to use my uh, shoulder straps. I mean, my uh, crossbody straps. So the inside of the bag is a, it's just like um, a canvas fabric lining. It does have a pocket here with the little snap button, little pocket here. And it's got all this stuff in inside. Um, I guess I can try to remove this. Let's see, I don't know how much space are we talking about. It's pretty roomy inside. I had a little piece of paper there. Um, so that's what it looks like. And again, you know, the opening is kind of, this makes me think of like a, makes me think of a, the shape definitely is like this half moon um, crescent. Um, it's the same shape as a, a, a Prada um, reissue. Uh, and you got the zipper, right? So it's kind of like the same idea. Um, it's, it's of course bigger than a Prada. And, um, but it's like the same idea, like the same style, right? It's, it's kind of slouchy once you take all the stuff out. Uh, if I just kind of go like that and it's empty, you know, it kind of slouches a little bit in my hand. Um, let's see. This is stunning, stunning, stunning. Makes me think of those like, uh, what are they called? Those head muffs that, you know, you wear sometimes in the winter. <laughs> And I didn't take video of it, I should have, but they did have the earmuffs. They just they just put those out in the store on Thursday. And they had like the, the light beige. Um, and they also had uh, kind of like a maple color on the earmuffs. They were beautiful, but I already have a pair of earmuffs from Couch. So, you know, I wasn't gonna be getting another one. But plus where I live doesn't get, even in the middle of the winter, doesn't get that cold to wear earmuffs. But um, I, I would wear them if I go back skiing. Anyway, so that's what it looks like, and I just wanted to show you this. Um, right now, I'm not gonna do a what fits in my bag. Um, just kind of wanted to introduce you all to these or show you these. Um, and um, yeah, so this is the um, Patchwork Sherling Juliet 25. That is the name. Um, I did get a gift for my daughter. Um, she's been doing great in school. She's just been doing a lot of things and, and I just wanted to um, reward her. Um, she did get a pair of Mary Janes in the um, off-white color. They're patent leather. Um, she also got the, um, she got a Hampton uh, hobo bag in the red and she fell in love with that bag when she saw it she's been looking for a red bag and she loves that that little hampton hobo shape so she got the hampton and um i'm gonna try to insert a picture here but on thursday they released um a new a new chain strap um and gold like a brass finished and it has um the t rows within the Within the chain, you, you find a T rose, and then you have the horse and carriage, and then you have the T rose and the horse and carriage. If I can insert a picture, I would, I would, I'm gonna do that. But um, she fell in love with the chain strap, um, and she felt like she can be removing the leather strap from the uh, from the Hampton hobo bag and um, use the chain or use it in something else. But um, yeah, so if I get photos of those uh, from her, 
um because i didn't think about getting any photos um i might i might post them or i might be able to you know um uh, talk about them later on but um i don't have them with me to show you because that was a gift for her and she took it with her so that is what i wanted to show you this is what i got today and um yeah let me all know what you think um i will be taking all this stuff off and um i i did i did check them thoroughly um at the store um they're in awesome condition this almost feels like a i don't know how to explain it it's almost like those um puffy um winter coats that sometimes you see up in the slopes when people are, are skiing um I, I mean i would never bring this up i mean i would bring this to on a ski trip like to go out to dinner and stuff like that i would never bring it up in the slopes of course but this is just it makes me think about those those um puff um, jackets that you wear when you're when you're out in the snow and it's very cold and like you're out on the ski lodge um so yeah so this is beautiful i'm obsessed obsessed with the hardware on this one and um yeah um let's see let me see if i can smell anything on the inside it's got the flap does the flap say anything i don't think it does now that i can see and yeah it's just the same on the inside like the rest of the tabbies oh you can smell it. you can't for some reason you can't smell the leather so much on the outside but you can definitely smell it on the inside when you open it so yeah so i have these two beauties let me know if if you have your eye on any of these or if you already gotten any of these and what you think about them so i hope you'll enjoy this video let me know if you have any questions um or if you want me to you know do what's in my bag or um any reviews i'm sure i'm most likely gonna do that and yeah thank you all for coming by my channel and watching this video give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. I would really love it if you consider subscribing. Take care. Stay safe. Bye.